everybody. Today we're going to make a green smoothie because I think it's a really great refreshing treat after yoga and I just got done teaching yoga. So I'm a little bit hungry, but I never really want something really heavy after a class or maybe you're like that if you come in from running or whatever. And um, so you can make this as dense and um, hearty or as light and um, refreshing as you want. So this is my favorite one. It's really easy, okay? And I hope you like my new blender. Yay! Because my old one kind of died yesterday. So, you know, but it died because we used it. So that's a good thing. This is a frozen banana, just one. And uh, make sure when you freeze a banana, it may sound silly, but make sure that you peel the banana, break it up into chunks, and then freeze it, okay? Because I think I've had some friends in the past try to freeze a whole banana, including myself, and then it just turns black and the inside gets all okay. and there's no way to peel it and it's just a bad thing. So, so there's a frozen banana. And this is organic baby spinach. I already washed it. And I like a lot of green. So I take two Jamongus handfuls and shove it down in there. And if you're new to green smoothies, don't be afraid. It's all good. And you can start with less, but I like lots of green. Because basically, you're getting all your veggies in so your conscious is clear, you know, by the middle of the morning. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then I'm going to grab my almond milk, so just a minute, and you can use soy milk too. I don't really take, um, or I don't really use soy anything, so I stick with almonds. I like it, and this is my favorite kind. I buy the unsweetened original. I'm not a fan of the vanilla. I, I'm kind of weird that way, but I like just the plain, and yeah, so there you go, and um, one cup of this, so... It's fun, you know, you feel like you're making like a little experiment in the kitchen. And that's always a cool thing. Uh, wow. Okay. And the trick is not to spill all over the counter. Okay. So, all of our ingredients are in there. Frozen banana, two giant handfuls of spinach, and um, frozen banana. So, banana. Oh, almond milk. Okay. It's early. I need blood or sugar in the brain or whatever they say you need. So obviously I need to make this smoothie quickly. All right, here we go. And we're going to turn it on and watch the magic happen, okay? Woo, this is loud. Okay, sorry. So just turn your volume down, okay? All right. a powerful one. I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to shove this down a little bit more. Yeah, I notice it's green. <laughs> Hence the green smoothie. I think Angela from Oshi Glows called them green monsters to start. So I love that, Angela. Awesome. A lot of friends make these. A lot of my blog buddies make these and I've gotten some of my buddies um, to try them too. So even my husband. <laughs> that thinks this is so cool. <laughs> okay, all right, now I've got to twist this puppy off of here. Okay, there is our green monster. And one really cool thing too, is you need to have a fun glass. You gotta have one that you can see through because, you know, it makes it more fun, right? Um, so we're gonna take off the lid and we're gonna pour this baby into this green glass, or this clear glass. And this is a little more watery because I added more spinach. If you like it more thick, add less spinach or use, you know, more than one banana or whatever. That is lovely. Is that not just so appetizing? <laughs> I think it's so cool looking. And this is my straw that I get at Starbucks. I do not drink coffee. I don't even drink tea. Um, but I go in there and I ask really nicely to the Starbucks people and say, 
can I have some, some straws? I'll pay for them if you want. And they'll say, oh, don't worry about it, and they'll give you a handful. It's awesome. So this is green to go with our green smoothie. So here we go, taste test it. Oh, so yummy. Okay, enjoy. Green Monster, make one today. See ya.